Hey everybody, Ann here in the tiny house, duh, having coffee as usual. Well, today I want to get a closer look at those baby chicks. And I was watching a YouTube channel called Haphazard Homestead, and she was talking about stinging nettle. She loves them, loves to cook them up. Uh, so I think I've got some of that on my property, so I'm going to go have a look at that too. And um, I don't know, do more stuff, whatever stuff I feel inspired to do. Well, good morning, beauty. Where's the babies? Oh, they finally found out how to get up there and roost. That's awesome, except for Kickstand. I think Kickstand is still down in the bottom in that little area there. So, Kickstand, I don't know if he can fly, but I don't even know if he can get up this ramp. I had to take one of the bunny ramps because I thought that that one was going to be too um, slippery for him. Yeah, I need to fix that right there because the bunnies chewed off one of the pieces. So I'm just going to back off a little bit and see if they come in, come outside and I'm going to watch kickstand to see how he makes it down the ramp. Here's the first two. Alright, kickstand. He can fly. There's no excuse for him going up into the coop at night. I'm still having to gather them up and put them in one by one. They still don't like getting too close to me. The one with the white tipped tail. Pretty sure that's a hen. And there's the other one. That one has a minuscule comb, somewhat darker feathers, the kickstand, bigger comb, I don't know. Come on babies, come on out. <laughs> They're so sweet, little peepers. I think that one's a hen too. Yep. And that's kickstand. He's got a bigger comb. Now these are just a little over six weeks old. I'm sorry, I'm trying to hold the camera as steady as possible. I'm, I'm bending over and holding it with one hand at the same time, so that's hard. Oh no. I think I got one rooster kickstand and two hens. Time will tell. Hello, Miss Beauty. She's like, I'm eating over here. Leave me be, children. She's still very sweet, though. Look at Kickstand go. Alright, I'm going to get out of here and let them do their thing. I think this may be stinging nettle. I watch a channel called Haphazard Homestead and Holly over there just put out a video about stinging nettle and she cooked it up and she gave some very good photography of it so I'm going to kind of compare her shots with mine and I really think that 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 this is what this is it's got the jaggedy edges it has little hairs all up and down the stem there's like ridges on the stem. There's little hairs on the underside that don't go all the way up. I'm not seeing any hairs on the top side. So let me just snip one thing off because the stem should be hollow. And looky there, it's hollow. So I got stinging nettle here, folks. I'm not going to forage a whole bunch of it 
right now because I'm foraging for the bunnies and I haven't looked this up yet to see if this is okay for bunnies to eat. But I am going to come back and get me a whole bunch because I have a ton of it. Look at that. This has got to be stinging nettle. It looks very, very much like the plant that she showed in her video that she cooked up. And it looked so delicious, you guys. So, I'm going to do a little bit more research and make sure this is what I've got. And if so, I'm going to cook me up a bunch of them today. Remember this cool, tall pot that my mom gave me? Well, the label on it when we found it in the antique store was an egg boiler, but you, of course you can steam vegetables in it. Well, I am going to boil some eggs in it today. I think there's 15 or 16, 17 eggs, I don't know. A little bit of olive oil in there. You can steam the eggs too, but I found that uh, covering in water and putting a little olive oil in it helps them peel easier. So let's get these babies going. They're all done. Check this out. So easy. Just pull it out and I can let it drain. I'm going to save the water for something else. So cool. Eh, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to boil a whole two dozen. I think there's like 27 in all. Why not? Pickled eggs done. I can't wait to taste them. I think I'm going to go hover me some of that stinging nettle and cook it up. There it is. I'm just going to cut me off a little bit of this newer growth and shake it off and put it in my little harvesting basket. Let's see. Let's see how tender this is. Oh yeah, that's real tender. Real tender. Awesome. I'm just going to get enough to eat just for today. And I may even do the dish that Miss Holly made. Oh, there's a whole bunch of it, though. Oh, I think that's all I'm going to get for now. Um, I don't want to cut it all down in case I don't like it. But I'm going to go take it and rinse it and put it in a pot of boiling water. Yep, I'm using this pot again. Put it down in there. Oh, will it fit? Will it fit? Yes, it will. I need to push it down. Now Holly says you need to boil this only for 30 seconds. So I'm going to let that come back up to a boil and start counting. 1, 1,000, We're done. Let's shut that off and let me grab my, where's my tongs? There they are. And see now, all I have to do is lift it out and then put it over something and let it drain. That looks so good. I've decided that I'm going to use a little bit of this organic balsamic vinegar and just put a little bit over the top and instead of an egg like Holly did I'm gonna get one of my little things of dream cheese I just kind of broke it up and spread it around and last but not least some sprinkle cheese oh yeah this is gonna be so good all right let's just toss it around a little bit and see what it's like looks just like spinach doesn't it sorry for the sound of the air conditioner in the background but it's hot I'm going to take a bite with a bunch of all of the stuff on it. Mm. Oh yes. That is a very delicious green. I like it better than spinach. Mmm. Mmm. Very tasty. And I love the balsamic vinegar with it. The dream cheese is perfect with it. This makes a great meal. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm going to eat this and then come back. Are you jealous? Mm. Be very careful when handling this 
weed or wild forageable as I like to call them because the little hairs will get into your skin and will give you a very bad stinging rash. I'll put the link to Holly's video from Haphazard Homestead down in the description so you can see what it did to her skin. Anyway, this was totally delicious and I am thrilled that I have found yet another wild forageable on my property that I can use for sustenance. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.